The Art of Precision. Yuichi Hirose is keeping an ancient Japanese craft alive. Using meticulously hand cut stencils, he is dyeing fabrics used to make the country's emblematic item of clothing, the kimono. The kimono has become something that is very far removed from our daily lives, and very few people wear them on a daily basis. Once a standard of the Japanese wardrobe, kimonos are now reserved for special occasions, such as weddings and the coming of age ceremonies. Made with natural silk and painted by hand, traditional kimonos are extremely expensive, sometimes running to several thousand euros. The kimono industry has refused to cut its prices and has stubbornly carried on making expensive classic kimonos from silk. Over the past 40 years, the market has shrunk sevenfold. To survive, some manufacturers have now begun using cheaper and more easily washable materials, such as linen, polyester, or cotton. Designer Jotaro Saito has even experimented with denim, jersey, and wool. His aim is to get the kimono out onto the street. <laughs> We need to make kimonos that are really part of people's wardrobe, an outfit in which they can express themselves. The kimono today is also getting something of a new lease of life from tourists keen to immerse themselves in Japanese culture, but only for a few hours at a time.